Let's talk about my favorite products ever on this channel, all the reviews I've done, and I, I've i shifted gears on how I want to view this channel. I don't want to be just this fitness YouTube reviewer. Now, when I started, it was going to be using my biochemistry background, which is my science background, my intellectual property patent law background to be a differentiator. And my views are always changing. I'm always doing different things. I like to read books. I like to share books. I like to read business articles and share all that. So this is going to be just a catch all of anything that catches my interest, but I still have a very, very focused interest in that YouTube and that technology realm, especially in the fitness realm. And I will say that I've gotten sent tons of products. I still have companies reaching out asking if they could send me something to review. And I like what I like. I love what I use day to day. And I've always wanted to know different YouTube reviewers, if you could just choose one product out of whatever category it may be, or just everything that you've used, what is your honest opinion of it? And that's really hard to do when you're doing YouTube reviews. You want to be as objective as possible without any outside influence or bias. But you also need to support the channel. And that's where I've really struggled with that kind of balance. I have affiliate links on all my videos. And I will tell you and I will promise you and you just being as transparent as possible. And I'll show you transparency when we go over what my favorite products have been. If there's an affiliate link in there, it's something that I have tried and that I've tested and that I've used and I've perused the extensive market of whatever vertical that it's in. And ultimately I landed in this and it's something I use day to day. No company has ever put words in my mouth on what I say on this channel, how I review things. It is my God's honest truth. But if there are biases and there are reasons why I push for it, then I will tell you what those are. So all these products, pretty much I am affiliated or I have some sort of personal connection with in some form or fashion, but that has been cultivated through my constant use and my inadvertent promotion of the product because that is just what I love. So with that being said, I will continue to investigate what are amazing products and I will share them on this podcast style, but the constant sourcing, spending my time testing, validating, that's probably over. If I, if I share a product on here, it's going to be because I absolutely love it. Like I'm going to do a separate kind of video, probably a short. I, I've been trying to dive into TikTok, YouTube shorts, whatever. So you can follow me on TikTok. You can follow me on Instagram and I'll be also be sharing here on YouTube on YouTube shorts, but there'll be one on like Roka's, which we will talk about. So I'm going to start off with the first one, the, the game changing, the life changing product that I've always recommended to people and that I'm constantly going to have in my life, at least the technology in some form or fashion. And that is the eight sleep pod. Now I'm a little angry at eight sleep and what they've done. I hate subscription models. I've said it numerous times on this channel with different products, especially with the whoop strap. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I pay as far up front as possible. And I did not know. I've had the pod pro cover now for over a couple years. And when I got from eight sleep, they sent it to me to test. I didn't have to pay and I still don't pay. I guess I'm grandfathered in, in some former fashion of utilizing their products. This one's hard for me because I love this product. I've tried different cooling mattresses. Nothing, 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 nothing comes close to the eight sleep for me. And it's, it's just game changing. Like I'm someone who's a hot sleeper. I've had relationships in the past where, but couldn't, you know, snuggle in bed because I just get too hot and I get too clammy and I just got to get off of me. Like I, I need my space or I would sleep, you know, naked with a sheet because I just couldn't take it. This has changed my life. I also use like a heavy blanket and it kind of like nice and snug and something that I've never even been exposed to in the past because I was a hot sleeper. Now that I have this mattress just cooling me like a 
cute little penguin in bed. I just love this thing. But I, I got to tell you, this this build annually. Oh, well, I guess they do an annual billing. It's still annoying. Like when I buy a product, I want to own the product for the life of the product. I don't want to have to pay for the use of the product. And I've had friends, I've had family members say, hey, you know, what's going on with this this uh, monthly billing? And it's annoying. Quite frankly, it's annoying. And if something happens to my Pod Pro cover and I have to buy it again, it's it's going to be not an easy purchase for me because of this. But I love it. I like for all the reasons I've said, I've done numerous uh, revisions of my reviews on it, updates, and this is still something that has just changed my life because I went from probably averaging about five and a half hours of sleep a night to getting seven to eight because of this autopilot that they're charging for that takes ambient temperature, takes my body temperature, follows all my metrics and make sure that I'm at the perfect temperature to stay asleep and then slowly warm my body. Because if you know the way the body works, uh, why we sleep by Matthew Walker, always recommend that book. You know that our body temperature, when it initiates that uh, production of melatonin in the body reduces about two degrees. So if you're hot, then you're cutting off that production and then you're not going to get a good night's sleep. That's why For me, I really can't work out too close to bedtime because my body temperature is too spiked. This keeps my body temperature low, keeps me asleep, and I just love, love, love this product. Which leads me to the next one. One that I have talked about the most, by far, not even close on this channel, and that is Whoop. I'm affiliate, unapologetically. I also love the Aura Ring. I love... Everything but the form factor of the Aura Ring because I love to use barbells. And you just can't. The way that the barbell compresses that ring against your finger, it even warns you, do not do it. Use something to fill in the gaps of that time with like an Apple Watch. But then you got a device. A lot of people already have Apple Watches, so it's not that big a deal. But having to buy a very expensive device, pay monthly subscription with the Aura Ring, and then also have to pay for a very expensive device in the Apple Watch. It it, it just rubs me the wrong way. And then also what rubs me the wrong way with Whoop, of course, is a subscription, but I pay on the annual basis because I know I'm going to use it. And I'll show you here. If we go to my assessment, you'll see empty gaps in my time because I tried going away from it. I constantly try to test whether or not I can use something like a Garmin and their uh, proprietary metrics or just purely an Apple Watch. I had the Apple Watch Ultra I wanted to test and just various devices. I've had other ring companies reach out to me. I've had other fitness wearables reach out to me. And within this time frame, I tested it and look right back to the whoop. I, I don't know if I'm just brainwashed into being accustomed to the metrics it gives me or whatnot, but that is just something that I, I just love. I, I just think the, again, form factor, the ability to use it. Yes, it's like a bracelet. People wish there was a watch on it, but it's not. I wear more traditional watches. So for me, that doesn't really bother me. And I have something that's 24-7 and I've gotten used to it wearing on my wrist. I am going to go back to doing jujitsu and Muay Thai when that comes in. I do have like the Woo body where you can wear the device on other parts of your body because in jujitsu, I don't want people grabbing that as leverage. Um, it's just something that I've loved. I, you know, the closest device again is the aura ring. I enjoyed it. I love the user interface. I love the application done reviews on that. The way they do their metrics, very similar. I never wear rings. It's not something that I'm used to. So I did take me a while to get used to, but so did the band. That is a great alternative to the whoop. So for me, whoop I'm affiliated with, you want to support the channel, you can use that link. But I would also highly recommend the Aura Ring if you're someone that's not worried about the barbells or dumbbells. Maybe you're someone who's in more into cardio. Like the Aura Ring would have been a perfect device for me when I was doing my Ironman training because it just wasn't really going to be an issue with applying any sort of pressure between the ring and my finger. So that's number two, the Whoop Strap. You can see the extensive videos that I've done on that and everyone else <laughs> has done it ad nauseum. It's just, just a great device. Let's go to number three. And this one's a bit controversial just because of the price of it. It's the Haven. I, early on in this channel, was looking for the best gym bag. And I was constantly 
on the market. I have a particular interest in organization. And especially when you're doing something like cross-functional training or CrossFit trademark, you can, uh, it requires you to use a lot of different equipment and carry it with you. So you can even see here, you get your lifters. You also have your uh, Metcon shoes. And then you've got a number of things. You got a weight belt, you got your jump rope. And, you know, for people that were doing more like bodybuilding type of workouts or yoga or whatever, you know, this may not be something that you even care about. Also, you can go buy like a $10 backpack on Amazon and you can throw all your stuff in it and people are just like, okay, that's fine. But I like what I like. I mean, you can see it hanging out there. I'm, I'm in my office, uh, try to keep stuff organized, even my office. So things have a place and the Haven backpack has a place. Also in that closet, I have the duffel bag. Love them both. They both serve a purpose. The duffel during triathlon was incredible. It was so nice to have everything laid out. And the way Iron Man set up, you put your bike in the pre, uh, the day prior, and then you set everything, laid everything out, or just any triathlon in general. I slap that bag down, open it up. It's good to go. And then the next day, close it up, get out of there. It, it, it's so nice for that. Going back to mixed martial arts, I'm going to have everything nice and organized. Uh, I carry a lot of things. You know, you're going to for the Muay Thai, you're going to have to have your mitts and then things like defense soap just to wipe your body down, get the staff off. I just, I like what I like. And it's not cheap. I, by all means, it's not cheap. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, it's a premium product. If you use it, if anybody's used it, you realize it's a premium product. It's got rigidity to it. It holds its factor. It takes a beating. And I try not to, but I really beat the crap out of the last, a lot of the things that I own. You know what? is what it is. And yeah, <laughs> it is what it is with that. Um, also number two, low quantities, Caleb Olfers, who is, uh, become an acquaintance of mine uh, is someone that I like to support. I've done a podcast episode with him and yeah, I'm rooting for the guy and I want to support him in any way, but you know, I don't have any allegiance to him. And the great thing though, is that when I originally got the duffel, I was able to give feedback. I think if you even go on here, am I still on here? What a curiosity. I haven't seen it. Yep. <laughs> so like I didn't get paid for this beyond him sending me the product. I did this all on my own without him knowing with no input, use this bag, test it. I made, he, I don't even remember if he knew that I made a video and there it is. So it's, it, I hope that doesn't show bias cause I'm on the, the freaking website. It's just that I love the product that much. I have the large duffel and I've got the large backpack. I'm actually going for a trip. I actually should probably get that thing ready for my trip and use that. But yeah, it, it, it is, it's, it's, ex, it's an expensive product, but you get what you get. I, I I'm sure I've spent way more than this trying to find a nice bag, ripping bags, everything else. And yeah, I actually usually have the hat sitting right here. So number three, I, I just, I like bags. I like things to be nice and neat and where they are. And that's why I enjoy that one. You know what these if you're watching and you see these stupid, like if I do this, I don't know if you're watching. Yeah. Thumb pops up. Mac has, now we got fireworks. Mac has put some stupid native thing on here that I just can't get rid of. Usually there's an option and I'm, you know, I'm just not, I'm not going to deal with it right now. Because we can go to my fourth favorite products and they're sitting right here. All these the eyeglassware. I wore glasses for nearly my entire life until a few years ago when I got LASIK. And what I hated in the summertime or working out, like I had bad allergies, so I couldn't wear contacts at the time. And I played baseball. Like there were games where I would have to take my contacts out because my allergies were making my eyes swollen and then I, the contacts couldn't stay in. And then I'm, I'm playing baseball, like try to hit a 90 mile an hour fastball when you can barely see the damn thing. You can't. And Roka didn't exist. Cause this was long ago. I wish I had these, 
but I have them now as far as glasses. And I actually purchased and have been using these and unsolicited made videos and reviews because I like to find what's different in the market. And when it comes to eyeglass wear, that's kind of tough to find. Yeah, there's some patented technology and underlying about how the, you know, formulation of their polarized lenses are made, like for Oakley and other companies, Costa. But when it comes to Roca, you get these. If you can see that, if you're watching. If I can do that, there you go. So you get these right here, what they're called gecko grips. And then you also can get it on the nose here. And it's on all of them. Like these are the ones that I just got. And Roca actually sent me these as a new affiliate of them. After years of buying their product, I spent way too much money on their, let's see if we go on their website. Like haven't done the Ironman. Um, if I go to like gear triathlon. So I paid no affiliation at the time. Just love the company. Uh, bought their Maverick wetsuit. Actually bought the cheaper one, this $500 one. Um, also had their buoyancy shorts and then also I had their race suit right here, the uh, onesie. Let's see if I can pull it up here. No affiliation. You know what I do like, though, and I, I will fully admit, is that yeah, here I am. Boom. I think you can see me coming out of the water here. Wearing the Roka wetsuit, and then you should see me on the bike wearing the Roka sunglasses right here. All Roka. Premium, nice products. Love them. And yes, they're in Austin, Texas, where I'm at. That's fine. Um, and then most recently, after becoming affiliated with them, full disclosure, they did send me these. And what I love about these when I put them on is that if you're a cyclist, it's lower profile. So you don't have to deal with a lot of the issues that sunglasses have for people that wear sunglasses. Let's see if I can pull up a better example. These are the Matador Airs that I'm wearing. This sounds like a commercial. I get it. Um, but it's not. This is 100% my unedited viewpoint on these. So there you go. You can see that. That way it can fit nicely under the helmets that comes down. Um, did I have the biggest issue with these during the race? Not really, but if you can get any more comfortable and you can make any more adjustments, then why the hell wouldn't you? Everything else, kind of take it or leave it. I mean, massages, You can we can go into that as far as like the Normatec boots. I still use those, wear those. I uh, have the same pair that I've had for a number of years now. They work fine. Favorite massage gun is the Theragun, just based on how it feels. Could you go something cheaper? Absolutely. And I've got no affiliation with either of those companies. Actually, I think when um, Hyperice bought Normatech, I might have pissed them off with my initial review because I really said there was nothing special about their massage gun. I still stand by it. I don't think there's anything special about uh, why you would pay for the form factor of a Hyperice. Now, when you grab something like the Theragun, you just kind of feel it, feel more premium. I consider them the apple of the massage gun world. And that's about it. I, every product starts to seem the same, even when it comes to smartwatches. Like, what's the why? What's the intent? What do you want to get out of it? I can be biased more towards a Garmin just because you don't have to charge it. It's lighter weight. Uh, but I'll, I will say like the Apple Watch Ultra 2, which I have the legacy one that is now banned because of the infringing of the proprietary technology of a different company. Um, still use that every single day, but would I buy them again? I'd be hard pressed. I, I would look to see what's out there on the market, but when it comes to the different things like this, like the, the eight sleep, I, f I feel like I, I feel like I'm stuck with it. Like I'm, I'm about to leave for a trip and I'm going to miss this thing. I wish I could just ship it to the hotel because again, a hot sleeper. So I'm just gonna be sleeping with a sheet there. That's just how it is. And I crank that AC at a hotel all the way up. Whoop. I've tried. I've tried multiple times. You could probably go through here and see some gaps in my uh, assessments. Actually, for the most part, I actually wasn't off a whoop as long as I thought I was, I guess. Um, yeah, you can kind of see it here. Bits. I, 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 I go through it with the device, you know, 
Sometimes I don't want to use it. Sometimes I do. Um, but ultimately, majority of my life, the past few years, I enjoy using it. Um, again, Haven, yeah, it's expensive. I I don't say. Like, if, if, if you want the best bag, without a doubt, and you can tell me in the comments I'm wrong, absolutely. But I will say, as far as premium quality, what it delivers, its use, I don't know, like, if anybody that would use it and be unhappy with it. I really couldn't give you much on the device or on the backpack that I would change. I said add patches and he turned the whole damn thing Velcro pretty much. Um, so they did add that, but th that was it. And then lastly, Roka, I, I think they're just a great company, smaller company down here in Austin, Texas. And yeah, affiliated with all of them. If you want to support the channel, you can hit the links in the description, but just know 100% unbiased. Nobody paid me to say any of this, but if you want to support the channel, you can support it down below.